Well, this is your Goed Vol Ontbijtprogramma. And of course, we have lots of exciting news for you. Successful businesswomen Lori Mulner and Nadia Bolshek, they are professional presence experts whose mentorship have impacted women around the world on a demonstrable level. Now, their lessons are so effective that attendees of their workshops have asked again and again for something physical that they could refer to. And that's how their book, Own Your Space, was born. Ladies, welcome to Expresso. Thank you. It's Thank wonderful you, to be here. It sounds like such an incredible book. What was the process like to put it together? Very exciting. We met in New York, the two of us. We sat over coffee shops and wine and came up with all these wonderful things. Um, Laurie, I want to start with you. Sure. Um, you are an expert in your own field, but you also have an initiative called Beyond the Dress. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about that. So Beyond the Dress is all about modern working women. And what started out as a series of events has now organically developed into customized corporate programs. So we work with companies and we help unlock the unique potential of female talent. And essentially we provide a toolkit that helps to bridge the gap between work and personal life and essentially help, help women to become the best version of themselves. I really and like that. And that's done either through keynote talks, training, workshops. And now you also have the book. And now we have, have the tangible proof and now we've got the book. Yes. Now Nadia, you just mentioned the two of you met in New York. So you, your television career has moved from South Africa to America. What, what's that journey been like for you? Oh, very interesting. I mean, came from South Africa, started at CNN as something called the Airport Network. And a lot of what we talk about in the book is what does it take to re-establish a career? Mm. The resilience, the tenacity. What time, Zoe, did you wake up this morning? I, I, I'm at work, hoppers for every okay. morning. Okay, <laughs> so, you know, those kind of things. We speak about really how do you reinvent yourself? I went from being an MNET presenter to being a CNN airport anchor to being now an editorial producer on the weekend. So just the idea of reinventing yourself and resilience, and that's what it's taken me. And really, that's what we share in the book. You know, how do you go through the triumphs, but also the pitfalls of life, right? Yeah. The imperfections. Yes, it is. Now, Laurie, I wanted to know from you, you know, there's a lot we can take from the book. Yeah. Um, what's one of the things that stood out for you? So I think just around the book, you know, some background around it is we always saw there was a lot of liter literature that said what you should do, and we've taken insights from the training room to tell you how. So for me, I think probably the stage that I'm at with two young kids is that my favorite chapter is about owning your time. Okay. And the important tips around how to manage your days, how to say no, how to, and also an important tip, especially for women at any stage in your working life, is networking. Yes. So always say network most when you need it least. Ah. Oh. Um, also things around headspace. How do you manage those days where you've got self-doubt, you know, the negative thoughts? But, it, and what we love most about the book is that apart from the insights from the training room, we've interviewed over 35 South African women from CEOs to directors and we've shared their insights as well. Yeah. I, I wanted to actually ask you about the South African women that feature in the book. Um, I see you have Margaret Hirsch, Anela Mdoda. What was that like working with them? Red, Reedy Talevi from uh, 702. Great insights again. Mm. And you know, as Roy says, what we wanted from them is not only theory, but some how-tos. Mm. And they gave us that. One of the examples um, was, you know, do, who do you listen to? Do you listen to your critics or do you listen to your reinforcers? Because yeah. we say your critics often the voice is louder than the people that reinforce you. So who do you listen to? So we've got very practical tips and insights, but mainly not only successes and triumphs. Also, how do you overcome adversity and failures? Yeah. And that's what united so many of the women that we spoke to. And that's what we hope to get across in a very practical how to, as you said, Zoe, become the best version of yourself book. Well, ladies, thank you so much, Laurie and Nadia, thank for you. joining us this morning in studio. The book, uh, Own Your Space, really, it is the toolkit for the working woman. It is available nationwide at uh, leading book retailers. Um, so with this book, you will never, you know, have to be without a mentor yourself. Thank you so much for joining thanks, us. Thanks, Zoe, and thanks you. for owning your space. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Well, I'm owning this space. Let's see what else you can catch up on your Feel Good Breakfast show.